Back to the Eastern Shore, breaking news and yet another fire. That's right. This is on Cashville Road in Onancock, and that's where Jason Marks is now. Jason, what can you tell us? Oh, well, uh, guys, I can tell you that just a short time ago, we were sitting in front of the Onancock Volunteer Fire Department when that page came out, another structure fire. Uh, it's right here, as you mentioned, Cashville Road uh, near Evans Wharf Road. It really is in one of the uh, far stretches of Onancock, not in Onancock, uh, proper, but in the Onancock area, the Onancock mailing address. Now, we have several volunteer fire departments on the scene right now, including Tasley and Onancock firefighters. Now, when we pulled up, we pulled up alongside uh, the fire trucks because we just followed them right here to the scene. When we got here, there was uh, a building that was uh, fully engulfed, uh, covered in flames, uh, obviously almost burned down to the ground by the time firefighters got here. Now, uh, the dispatcher paged it as an uh, as in one of those, an, an unoccupied structure, obviously too early to tell. Uh, investigators with state police are already here on the scene. They've been driving around all night long. I've heard uh, along on my police scanner, I've heard uh, the sheriff's deputies going to different abandoned structures in the area, checking those throughout the night, walking around in the wooded areas behind those, because we figured that there would probably be another fire, uh, and we're here live on the scene, on the phone. Um, we're sending back some pictures for you, hopefully some video, uh, so you can get them. We're really what far out. The cell phone service is not very good in this part of, uh, of Onancock. But we're going to work on those. Right now, we, we have another structure fire, another fire. It's burning pretty good right now. Uh, firefighters from Tasley and Onancock are putting water on it. Of course, we'll bring you an update as it comes available. Too early, though, guys, to tell if this is another arson, but... If you look at uh, what's been happening in here over the last several months, that would lead you to believe that it's going that way. One thing's for certain, those volunteer firefighters are exhausted. They have been very yeah. busy lately. So tired. Yeah, I mean, we, we, our Andy Fox talked to them earlier, and they're really, I mean, they're not getting a lot of sleep. I can tell you that. I mean, uh, I mentioned it on Fox 40 on a sister station at 10. I, I mentioned that uh, it's unusual to see firefighters at a volunteer fire department this late at night, it really mm -hmm. is. Usually they go home, and what, what happens, and I'll just to talk you through it, if you don't know, a volunteer firefighter usually has a pager or a radio that they right. take home, and, and then they just stay there. And then what happens is the dispatcher will, will page them out. Uh, they will leave their homes. They'll head to the fire station, and that's when they'll get on the truck, and they'll leave the station together. Uh, tonight, at, oh, in the Nancock Volunteer Fire Department, those firefighters were already there mm -hmm. waiting for something to happen, and obviously, once again, guys, it has. All right, Jason, uh, just, just one more thing. When they go to those abandoned structures door to door, as you were saying, what are they looking for specifically? Did they tell you or is there? You, you know, this was stuff that I heard off the police scanner. I've been uh -huh. listening okay. to the scanner all night long. So when this fire came out, I heard it right away. Uh, so we knew it was another fire. But what I heard was deputies uh, from Accomack County right. and what the deputy said to the dispatcher said he's getting out of his car for a second and he's going to go check the surrounding area. And so just to let the, the dispatcher know exactly what he was doing, he didn't say where he was because they don't want the person who's setting these fires to know where they're checking. But what happened is the deputy got out of his car. He checked the building, this, this unoccupied building, somewhere in the county. He walked around the wooded area around that just to see if there was anything suspicious around that area. And then that deputy got back into his car. He radioed the dispatcher and said, uh, Everything's okay. He used okay. the word everything 10 4, meaning everything's okay in this area. Uh, of course, we don't know where that deputy was in the county. Uh, and then, of course, here we are. We have their fire tonight that they're dealing with. All right, Jason Marks live on another fire scene in Anancock in the Eastern Shore. He's going to go back to covering that for us, and you can get the latest here and on wavy.com.